Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello. <laughs> what is up? How is everybody doing? Man, today this is going to be a pretty cool build. I'm right now in my flat world. Just where I have my village upgrade, all my other builds. Man, we're going to be adding another build right in this corner. Something that's been asked about me it was, for a very long time. Sausage. Can you build me a little floaty island with a nice little cool little fantasy house on top? And you know what? We're going to do it right now. And there's a little block right there. We're going to start it out right on the tippy top. And also, we're using our boy Jersey Boys pack. So if you guys want to download that pack, there's a little link in the description. You can go check it out. It's an amazing vanilla pack. And you know what? We're going to start right here. And we're going to start with the island first. Uh, and then once we're done with the island, we're going to do the house. So the island is its not going to be too hard. I'll show you how I do my little floaty islands. And it's been a while since I've done one. So hopefully this comes out okay. So for materials, uh, we're just going to be going with your basic uh, materials that you would normally put maybe in a little mountainside or something like that. Uh, but I'm going to make this into a nice little floaty rock. So we're going to be using stone, cobblestone, gravel, some grass, grass path. Uh, grass path, coarse dirt, podzo, some grass block, and then we're also gonna bring maybe a couple slabs and stairs along the way. Let me actually just bring those slab, slab. Uh, let me just put cobble. I want to bring cobble slabs, cobble stairs, uh, maybe some cobble walls in there too. Uh, but we'll bring stuff along the way. So let me first start off. Whenever I'm gonna do any of these builds, uh, especially those sky island things, I always want to start with the base on the top. And what I'm gonna put on top is gonna be the house. So I want to have enough space that I'm gonna have a good room for the house. So for now, I'm gonna use grass. Let's just do uh, almost like a little outline up uh, on the top now the way I'm gonna do this island you don't have to do it exactly like I'm doing it just give you a little inspiration just a little bit tiny little bit an inkling of inspiration of how to set one up um, this is pretty much just make it as random as possible but look good at the same time so this is how I'm gonna do mine uh, I'm gonna just be randomly putting blocks down that makes it look kind of have like a good little bit of a platform uh, to go up here I'm gonna make it kind of circular uh, nothing too crazy nothing too big I think this is as wide as I'm gonna do it I might cut this back a little and then make it like a nice little rounded look to it and then we might tweak along the way make it a little bit more refined but I think something like this yeah just winging it that looks like a good base to start out so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in uh, and for now, I'm just going to fill it in with grass. Let's just fill it in with grass. We'll come back in here and we'll uh, texturize it and stuff. But I want to see how this all looks when we have it all laid out. So let's see. Just coming all around, filling it in. And I might actually have a couple little different uh, elevations on the top. So that's a nice little platform, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is good. Now, the way I'm going to do this now, I'm gonna. this is how I do mine. So I'm going to go right where the middle point would be. I'm going to go in with stone. Uh, let's just the just, uh, semi-middle part right there, I guess. Then I'm going to take this middle part down as far as I want to take the island to go. So let's see. I'm going to make it kind of fantasy-like, so it's kind of have like a little peak to it. Um, so I'm not going to make it too long, but just enough. Let's see. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Maybe one, a couple more down, maybe right there. That's good. That looks good. Then I'm going to start branching these out. So let's start tweaking some of this and it doesn't have to be exactly like I'm doing it again just a little bit of inspiration for you guys see this one kind of kind of connects to there this one I'm gonna take it down and this is gonna kind of go a little steeper straight up there we go then let's do this side go a little higher this time here and let's take this a little up and out right about here it almost gives it like a nice little wireframe of how I want this to go uh, and this would go right about there so that's pretty good uh, then I'm just gonna come back in here and I'm gonna do everything in stone uh, and then we're gonna come back and we're going to uh, texturize it add some cobble add some uh, uh, some gravel pods of course dirt go crazy with it but I'm gonna try to have this peak down like so something like that that looks pretty cool see that that's coming out already already uh, maybe coming in this way and now let's do a little twist to twist job coming down and then if you guys do have this later on hollow you can actually use that almost like a little uh underground basement kind of base thing and just you know just go and knock out all this whole middle section in order for you to lay that down you can have a nice little storage area down there which is going to be pretty cool uh something like uh, this and if you notice i'm not going all the way to here yet to the edge we're going to go ahead and, and work that out as we go along so i'm just going to go pretty much around the edge like so 
uh, and then start taking it down little by little like this maybe popping some out this direction taking some up going in and then if you want you can always hollow it out later on uh, but something uh, like this make it look kind of natural and organic and then we can just at the end we'll come down and we'll peek it up a little more make it look a little cooler uh, we can even add water features which might be pretty cool also uh, in the um, and that'll maybe collect down here in a, if you're doing this maybe over a river or a lake or something that might be also a pretty cool feature or it goes down into a little pond or maybe into a fountain or something like that that'll be pretty cool actually uh, that'll be awesome actually uh, you can even flood the inside put a little conduit since you're on 113 uh, and it'll be pretty cool too if you're using on 113 actually or if not you know you can use it on anything uh, but it'll be pretty cool to have a conduit down there and have the inside all watered out waterlogged and now I'm gonna just start peeking this out make it go a little farther down See, that's looking so cool. Uh, let's add a little bit more over here. And I'm thinking we have ourselves a winner here. And then on some of these, I might go over the peak like that. See, like some of these will kind of go over, overlapping that, maybe come down a little more on certain spots, leave little holes there. And some of these holes would be pretty cool because you could add glowstone to that uh, or any kind of light source just to add a little bit uh, of light inside this thing. So something like this is how it would start out. Pretty good start right there, I think. Uh, and then uh, let's see, maybe peek it out a little more. I think that looks pretty cool. Then what I'm gonna end up doing now is going in and replacing some of these things with gravel. Uh, and then the cool thing about germs pack is that these have connected textures. So you're gonna get this cool little effect. Even if you do it in default, it's still gonna look good. Uh, but the cool thing about the Jeremy's pack is that it has these awesome connected textures with Optifine and you kind of blend in the stones together like that. It kind of bleeds into the next stone, which is kind of cool. Uh, so some of these I will replace and then I might add more as we go along something like so and then i'm gonna probably come in here in a second as well and just add a little more edge to it like that that looks pretty good maybe a little more right there a little more to the edge there you go and I, some of this will, will stay as overhang but uh some of this will uh, I'll, I'll just put in some slabs and stairs and stuff like that too which will actually add even more detail uh this is gonna pop when i put the uh the slabs and stairs and stuff like that so you'll see uh let's see a little more like that so this is all random again you don't have to do it exactly like i'm doing it just give you a little bit of inspiration if you're gonna do your own this is how you would do it uh now another little thing let's add some coarse dirt in here uh, so I'm gonna come in here and give it like little patches of dirt not make it as random like scattered all over maybe like have little patches like little veins of dirt like this kind of fell down to this edge maybe this one had a little bit on the inside give it some of this and not too much dirt but just enough so you can see oh yeah that's definitely a floating island uh so something like this uh go all the way around on all the ends all the sides maybe even keep some of these there no maybe a little less on that uh maybe some here at this edge Ooh, very good i like this okay uh, now, uh, let's actually throw in, um, Pazzo won't really make a difference though, really you can't see the Pazzo as much, but maybe sprinkled in where the dirt was, just to see a little bit of that leafy texture. Uh, we can even throw some on top, we'll texture the top in a little while, uh, something like this, just a little bit of that leafy uh, stuff, and then also we're going to bring in some bush in here, you'll see. Now, another thing is bringing slabs and stairs in here, this is going to, what's really going to make this pop, uh, and really can't, just give it that extra bit of detail. Uh, so, not too much, but just in certain spots that you're going to see that's going to need a little bit of love, just a little bit. Uh, oh, and cobble wall, we need to bring in some cobble wall in a second. How about just bring it in right now, get it ready. Let's take away that grass block. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see something like this, maybe like that. Maybe a little cobble wall, like right there. A uh, little one maybe going down on the bottom like so. Oh, <laughs> that looks so cool. Uh, let's see, maybe another one on this end going down a bit. Uh, maybe one right there. And then let's continue with some slabs and stairs. Uh, maybe a little stair right there. Little slab, slab, slab right there looks nice. Oh, this is looking cool. Uh, maybe one here and here. And this is all just random placement. See if it looks good. And I think some of these might need a stair block. Maybe something like that. Oh, yes. Uh, one right there for sure. Uh, maybe lifting this one up. Putting a slab there. Yeah. It looks cool. One more. Let's see. And I don't want to add too much. Something like that looks very nice. Okay. I think we got that pretty good. Uh, also, little things. Let's grab some bush. And let's see, I'm just going to go with regular old, uh, oak leaves 
And on some of these, I'm just gonna maybe get inside one of these little sections here, maybe pop it in. Ooh, not in there, right there. And it's kind of like gonna overhang a little bit like that. Add a little bit of bush right there, that looks good. Maybe another one on this side, maybe coming in from in there. That looks good. And maybe coming down a little bit, curving around, that looks nice. And maybe another little patch right about here might look okay. And maybe coming up like so. And taking some down from there. It kind of like curves around. There you go. Let's take a little spin, see how it's going. Yeah, <laughs> that is a pretty cool little island. I like this. Okay, uh, and then we can add more details later on. But for now, let's just get started because we haven't even started on the build yet. Uh, so some of these, I'm going to go ahead and, and just texture, add a little bit of cobble here maybe to maybe one edge like that. Uh, maybe add a little bit of gra Oh, we didn't add the gravel. Oh, real fast, real fast. Now, the gravel's a little tricky. You can only add it to spots that will be held up by the gravities. Uh, so this is another thing we can add real fast. Let's go in here. Maybe that. There we go. I knew I missed something. I was like, wait a minute. I know I'm missing something. Uh, let's add a little bit of gravel right there. Ooh, right there. That looks good. And maybe one more. I fell. I'm fine. Uh, maybe one more little patch right there. That looks awesome. And we can always keep tweaking. We can add even some wood up there too, uh, which would be pretty cool. Uh, but we'll see. Let's add maybe a little bit of gra- Hello? Oh, I forgot. This kind of goes- It's okay. We're fine. Uh, maybe a little more right here. Uh, let's add uh, some maybe pogs. We might add a nice little tree at this end right here. There we go. Uh, maybe on this side, we can add a little bit of the coarse dirt. And I think this actually might do it right there. Uh, and then the middle is going to be where the house is. You're really not going to see that part. But we'll, we'll, if anything, we'll come back and we'll texture this a little more towards the end. Uh, but just a little bit of texture here is not going to hurt one bit. Maybe a little more random stone action. Most of this stuff is going to be completely covered, so it's fine. Uh, okay, just a little bit of path. Just a little bit of, uh, uh, of randomization. So for now... We're going to keep this as is, but that is a pretty nice little sky island right there. Just a quick little one, uh, 10 minutes in. All right, now let's do a little bit of building and we might come in and texture this again. So then this is a very fantasy style build that we're going to do because it's a sky island. It's floating. So we're going to put a little fantasy style build on top. I'm going to be making it very starter worthy. So uh, pretty much it's not going to be too crazy, too big. This island is kind of small too. So we're just going to blend it in, make it look cool. So for materials, this is what we're going to go with. So, uh, we're gonna do some stripped dark oak logs, okay? We're gonna bring in some of the oak planks. We're gonna bring in some of the spruce planks. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add also, uh, you know what? I really wanna add some brick to this, regular old brick right here. Uh, also wanna add uh, the roof. Oh man, the roof, you know what I wanna do? I wanna bring some dark, uh, dark prismarine uh, for the roof. So we're gonna use some dark prismarine Full blocks, slabs, all of them. Uh, and then also, you know what? I'm thinking about using some stone. Also, some stone brick uh, and some stone uh, brick stairs for mixing these two, uh, these roof patterns. And then we're going to bring all this together like that. Okay, so uh, let's start it out. So one thing I want to add is right here. Let's actually do a base. I'm going to go up right here on this corner. Uh, and I'm thinking about adding maybe a tree somewhere over here too. But right here, we're going to go up by one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to give it a space of uh, one, two, three. Give it a uh, go up again by five. This one, we're going to go back one, two. Well, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and go up right here by five as well. Give it a space of three, go up by five as well. And then we're going to pop this out a little bit just right here. We're going to go uh, from this end. We're going to go up by one, two, three, four. And then we're going to just pop it out just by one, two right here and go up again. Give it a space of three, one, two, three, four, and give it another space of one, one, two, three, four. And then this is our starter spot for this, which is going to be pretty cool. And I'm thinking about also adding like a little balcony that goes out and with a little support right there on that side, which is going to be pretty cool. All right. So let's start this out. Uh, first step, what I want to do is also I want to do like a little kind of docking station over here. Like if you kind of get up on here, you kind of have to either fly in with an elytra or have an airship or something. Uh, but I'm not doing the airship today. I did one recently on my DV series, but whatever. I'll probably do one for real uh, as a tutorial later on. All right. So for right now, I'm just going to go up here. Um, let's actually give it a little border of this guy right here, of this stone brick. And we're going to go all the way around with stone brick here, here. 
all the way around like that here and then that's our little base to start up okay then I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna mix in some of the uh, uh, the oak and you know what let's actually bring a little bit of stripped oak in here as well uh, so just to mix and match this so we're gonna go up I'm just gonna cover this whole thing this is where the front door is gonna be but I want to cover it all up first like this so take it all up and then we're gonna texturize this so bring this all the way down I'm thinking about also putting a nice little uh, fireplace kind of thing right here so that's gonna go all the way around like so like so all the way up to the tippy top we're also going to cover this up right here okay let's take this all the way up take this all the way up and then let's cover all this up so we're going to pop out windows and stuff later but for now let's leave that here because i wanted this is how i do my texturing uh so i'm going to bring in the plank here and then also we're going to just come here and spread some of these random uh blocks here uh just we're going to put a, probably a door in the middle but we're going to randomize the way we have this so let's go these facing down let's throw these sideways sideways let's do another couple right there so this is just to texture this a little bit uh and then we could come in later on and bring in uh some windows and stuff so let's just throw these down random spots just like this gives it a nice little texture let's maybe put one here one there let's go like down like that and then maybe one right here and that's how i do my texturing at the beginning so it looks pretty cool now another thing that i want to end up doing is come over here with me uh we're also going to bring get some cobblestone some of the ones we have over here and i'm going to replace some of these here on the bottom just some since we textured the top might as well texture the bottom on certain ones of these just like this and that see we textured that as well and then now let's start with uh picking out where we're going to put the uh, front door the windows and stuff like that on this before we get to the roof section uh, so right now i'm thinking about door right here knock these two out uh let's actually bring this out we're gonna make like a little front kind of like docking station we're gonna take it out just like that so one two three and then one two three like a little three by three by three box and then an extra one right there I'm gonna do some stairs we're gonna bring oh we had it on us already let's put some upside down stairs right there and actually let's, let's, let's break it up a little bit so i kind of did this in a steampunk house in my entirely vanilla series a little bit with like a little pop out little section like this and then we're going to uh bring one down right here let's do upside down stair there there and there and that kind of gives you let's take this one out too maybe replace some of these cobbles and this gives it like a little docking station kind of thing uh let's see something like that and this kind of pops out a little bit so if you have an airship or anything or you have an elytra this will be like your launch pad or your your takeoff pad or your landing pad uh right there and then we can also maybe change change some of these we can actually do one of those maybe a little slab right here and maybe even do a slab like that it kind of broken up right uh we can even do something like this Oh, that looks even better. See, beat it up a little bit. Even maybe a cobble wall at the end of this. And we can maybe drop a fence post. Uh, let's do regular oak is fine. And we can drop a little light right here, which will look pretty cool. And then put a little glowstone. And maybe surround it in trapdoors, maybe? Or maybe just a trapdoor at the bottom. Or a slab. How about a slab? Uh, let's do a spruce slab and put it right there. So a little hanging light right there will look pretty cool. Uh, another little thing we could do is up here we could have like a little gardeny area. And the way I'll do this is let's actually take some of this cobble for now and just surround it. Just follow the grooves of the house. Connect to right there. And right here we can just throw a little bit of grass for now. Maybe even a little podzol. Uh, and then under here let's maybe extend some of that like this. Uh, maybe some of these can go like that and maybe even I think that's fine yeah something like that and we have a little bit uh, up here that we can go ahead and play with put some slabs on the top maybe even a little trap door of our spruce and then we can go bum and bum and give it like a little lining right there and then here we can have like a little bush path or something we can even take this out can we yes we can and there's a little patch a little patch right there that we can do some cool stuff in uh so save that save that for now now another thing i want to do let's get rid of this put a stair of our oak and we're gonna go upside down so that's our door to get in now for this i'm just gonna randomly sprinkle down some of the stone and we're also gonna sprinkle some of the cobble just to make it random doesn't have to be exactly like this just a little random patch like that perfect 
So we have this way around, and then uh, we can put a door. Now, let's before we do doors, I want to put our little fireplace. So I want to put a little fireplace right here on this side. Uh, so let's actually knock down this row right here, and then that. Let's bring the brick. I'm going to put the brick in right inside, but for now, let's just go one, two, three. One, two, three. And then all the way up one, two. So this counts. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do eleven for now. And then over here on the side, let's just get some stairs. And we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna go, ba oop, nope, uh, bam, bam, and then one up and bam. So that's our little uh, chimney fireplace kind of thing. And we'll do something on the outside in a second. But for now, this is looking pretty cool. Now another thing. Let's start working on another bit of window action. So how about right here, we add a little window. Let's take these out. Let's grab the stairs of our oak and we're gonna put a little window right there. That's a perfect window. Uh, here, we're gonna do another one. Let's do knock, knock, knock all this. Uh, let's just do a single window right there or double. We can actually, we can do a double. Do a double window, make it a little taller right there. Uh, and then this part, we can actually just seal it. Uh, with uh, something like that for now and we'll come up with a cool little design we can even pop these out uh, maybe even do something right in here like like so like so <laughs> and then we can put a little double furnace right there that's fine now let's come over here let's work on this roof so uh, another thing we could do for this roof let's actually make a nice tall boy right here uh, so the way we're gonna do this we're gonna get the stairs of our stone uh, and then we're gonna start working this out. So let's go straight down like so Straight down this way like so pop it out by one on each side here We're gonna go this way and here. We're gonna go this way now for this one on the bottom uh, This is what I want to do. I want to go a little low Let's see. Hmm. Do we want to match it? That's the thing. That's what I really want to think about. Let's do Ooh, actually hmm Let's think about this hold on a second hold on a second before we do this hold on I want to see if we can make this pop a little more. So let's do this. Watch this. Uh, let's take this higher just by one. So we're going to go up higher, up higher. We're going to cross beam this just to give it a little more elevation from this roof to this roof. Because now look what I'm going to do. Let's cross beam this. Let's cross beam this guy right here. Now this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's take these up, take this up, cross beam right here. Uh, let me do this little roof first and then we'll work on the bigger roof. So for this one, let's go again with the stair. Stir, error. there it is. <laughs> there you go. And we're gonna go down. This one's gonna go this direction, and then we'll work on that one. So we're gonna go this direction. We're gonna go upside down stairs here. We're gonna do full block right here, right here. We're gonna put a stair here, stair here, two upside downs on each side, and we're gonna go with another full block and stair pattern, just like that. We're gonna grab the same log and log, and we're gonna do a little cross beam pattern out here, and a full block right there. And then on this side, I'm going to go with four blocks of the dark prismarine stairs right here. Four block stair action. Take that down to there. And then we're going to do it again. So bam, 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 bam. Let's take this down. Take that down. And up here, we're going to keep that up. And then we're going to work on a nice little pattern on the top. But that's our first section right there. Now, since we have that here, hmm, let's see. We can go ahead now, come this way. We can cross that out right there. That looks cool. Then we're going to see that gives you just a little bit of separation and just make it a little taller. I'm going to go with some upside down stairs here. Let's take this down. Do the same thing on the other side. And it just gives it just a, a little bit of extra separation between this roof and this one. And then we're going to go with, where's my full block of? Here we go. We're going to go here. We're going to go two up. All right. We're going to put upside down stair. We're going to go two up. Then we're going to go with a stair and a stair. Upside down on both sides. Here we're gonna go one up, and we're gonna go up here again, up here again. Here we're gonna do that same pop out thingy, and we're gonna go bump bump, and we're gonna do this way again, full block on top, and then let's repeat the pattern. So two up, two up, stair, stair, upside down on both sides, two, oh, one up, <laughs> and then stair, stair, cover this cross beam straight down, pop it out one extra upside down stair on each side and then let's connect all these guys so we're gonna go all the way down right here and it's gonna go two up then we're gonna put our stair bam 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 then we're gonna go our full block then we're gonna go with our stair and we're gonna repeat that same thing on this side so this is gonna be full block full block and then you don't have to put this side because you're not gonna really see it so we just go right here and then this connects to that which is kind of cool right that's nice so this connects to that uh, and then this one is gonna go straight down we're gonna meet up in the middle 
And the cool thing about this is we can continue that line straight this way and then go this. Ooh, we can actually do that and then full blockage all the way on top. So that connects to that. Wait, what did I do? Hold on. This doesn't go here. Uh, this goes here. This is what I wanted to put in here. <laughs> All right, there we go. You're wildly wondering, what was that sauce? Look how cool, okay? That looks amazing. Now, let's do some flippity bits. So I'm gonna do upside down stair here. Let's do a full block here. All right, let's put a stair here. Let's put another stair there, okay? Let's do a little flickety bit right there and you have this cool little look. Uh, and then you know what? Let's actually take this down by two. Let's put a stair right there and then let's put a slab right on there and let's put a, a little slab right there too oh that looks cool so let's see if we can match that um ooh, we can't put it on this side because we have that but we can do it over here though so upside down stair let's go with a full block uh, 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 my mouse there we go <laughs> upside down stair here flickety bit right here we're gonna put a full block we're gonna put a stair and a slab and a slab like that so let's repeat that pattern on this side so upside down stair we're gonna do a full block upside down stair flickety bit that way full block stair and slab meeting up in the middle let's actually put another slab right there and that looks really really cool i love that let's match it is it matching yes it is everything's looking cool all right now let's work on this middle bit now for this middle bit this is where i brought the spruce for so i'm going to cover all this up with some spruce all this up just to give it a nice little texture change right there uh and then uh we're gonna go ahead i'm thinking about doing something here how about we do a little something let's pop these two logs out right here just to give it a little bit of detail so by doing this now what i can do is i can make a cool little separation here i can maybe put some upside down stairs and a slab right in the middle and that makes it look so much better uh and then we can put a little bit of detail on the bottom but well let's hold off on that uh let's come on this side do it again here so pop out log pop out log slab slab i mean stair stair slab and then come back in here with the spruce and let's cover this back up and we might put a little window up here as well just to give it a little bit more detail so hold off on that uh and then over here last but not least we're gonna go ahead and put all that spruce right inside pop out log pop out log and then we're gonna do it again stair stair and slabby uh, in here uh since this is a smaller roof you could put an upside down stair it's fine, or you can even put a slab. It depends. I'm just gonna go with upside down stair. Uh, why not? So, uh, on the bottoms here, now we can add that little bit of detail. So this is what I'm thinking about, this detail. See these trap doors? We can do this. Just a little bit of detail, and you can wrap this all the way around like so. Wrap this all the way around like so. We can't put one here, but that's fine. Uh, but at least it can go right there. And this can go all the way around, almost like a little lining, a little wood lining on the bottom. And I haven't done this in a lot of builds, so I really want to incorporate this in others. And this is pretty cool. Just a little bit of extra wood. Uh, also, what you could do, uh, you can put slabs there too, and maybe interchange slabs uh, of spruce with this. And let me show you how that might look. You can use either one. Uh, if you do one like here, let's see, put a slab, put a slab, and see that kind of changes a little bit. That looks kind of cool, right? Uh, maybe put some like right here. And you don't have to do this, but just as a little bit of inspiration, if you want to try something new, uh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Something like that. And it just adds uh, so much more to the build. And see, you can put one here, put another one here put one there and there and that kind of adds right isn't that pretty cool i don't know i like that uh over here i'm definitely gonna add a window so let's break all these three let's get a stair and let's get a stair of our spruce wood and i'm gonna go bam and bam uh let's get some glass now for glass uh i'm thinking about this uh, maybe green i think green might be pretty cool since we have that dark prismarine maybe a little green it actually pops oh yeah it does pop look at that that's pretty cool. And if you notice, this glass is kind of clear, right? We're also using one of our boys, d -Nators. He has this uh, clear glass pack. I'll put a little link in the description uh, on the bottom so you guys can check it out. It is so cool. It gets rid of all those weird little scratchy lines in the glass. And it makes it so much cooler. And look at that. It's just completely clear. I love that. Uh, now, another thing we could end up doing is let's actually put some buttons because why not? Uh, and since we are in 113, we have so many different buttons. I'm thinking about the jungle wood because in Jeremy pack, jungle wood is green. And look how cool that is. It's a little green button uh, you can use really any button but i think this is just in this package this makes it look really really cool uh, i'm gonna put some trap doors on top here 
that looks really really nice maybe here we're not gonna put it because it's kind of small uh also a little uh we can actually expand expand these <laughs> because i'm gonna put a little hanging lights on these things. since it is a fantasy build i'm gonna do that right now uh am i missing any buttons on exposed log pieces uh i am but up here uh so let's go ahead i'm gonna do that here actually you know what how about if i extend it i don't want to extend it too long i think we're gonna leave it right there just out by by two from the base and now let's grab a wall let's grab a, a fence i'm gonna use the same uh oak fence we used down there we put the other glowstone so how about i have a put a wall here then i'm gonna put a wall here and i'm gonna do fence one two three four five let's do a five get a good a little bit of glowstone and you don't have to use glowstone too we can use really anything you can use end rods too um you can use sea lanterns sea pickles if you want in a basket or something cool uh so i'm gonna use that and i'm gonna leave it exposed and sometimes i do, do put trap doors around and the trap doors do, they do look pretty cool i i do like them and i usually use it on most builds but i'm thinking this time around i'm gonna leave the glowstone exposed it's such a beautiful texture i don't want to mess with it uh, so i'm gonna do another one here let's go one in one down and i'm gonna go up this one let's go one two three only let's put a little thing bang right here uh drop another slab there we go and then we're gonna do one more here so we're gonna put one of these walls another and this one i'm gonna go down by one two three also let's do a three yeah three three looks good and it's, it's shorter than this one maybe just a two actually or a one Maybe a one. I don't want to make it too long, uh, especially in the front. Oh, that looks really cool. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Now, uh, we can add more details by maybe putting a little window right here. Uh, maybe doing something like so. What if we do this? And then let's get a slab of our dark oak. And then we can do a little pop out. So we got a little window right there, which looks really, really cool. Um, only thing about this window let's see there we go that's a little better um i'm thinking i'm gonna go with full blocks all the way like this let's flip this back down let's flip this back down um because what i did notice um uh, i'm not gonna be able to put a window in there uh because the it won't connect to having these as stairs because if you see that no stair will connect to that so if we do that i think that looks pretty cool uh maybe an upside down stair here instead yeah i think that's perfect uh we can even flip that there we go that little window right there just adds so much. Uh, we can go ahead and this side is one. Do the same thing. So we can go bum, bum. Uh, let's see. Full block here, here. Stair here and here. Let's see. Hold on. Boom, boom. And upside down. Wait, how do we do this? Oh, we took it down. Uh, right there. <laughs> All right, cool. And then we can add our glass. Let's get that glass back. Bam and bam. So we have two little windows uh, on that. Since we didn't have a window here, now we have two on each side, which looks really, really cool. Uh, on this side, uh, we could do the same thing. So right here in the center, let's take these two, these three down, three down right here. I'm gonna put a stair and a stair right there, stair and a stair right there. Uh, we could even add a little bit more detail like that on that, since it, it does add a little more. Drop these two bad boys, and then we have that right here that was pretty cool now for this it's kind of low let's take it up a little more let's take it up one two let's go three just with a little higher than this top of the wall here i'm gonna put a cobble wall and let's get a brick slab and i'm gonna drop the brick slab right on the tippy top that looks really really cool oh that's awesome all right now another little thing we could do is add a little more gardeny stuff here so let's extend this a little bit just like let's see just like so all right then i can come here with a little let's see let's go with full block full block full block let's give it a little lining of full blocks right here i'm gonna probably cut it right at this edge so let's maybe put a couple full blocks going down like so i'm gonna bring a couple slabs coming around like so uh maybe something like that uh, and maybe a little way in right here if, in case you're back here you can come into this little gardening kind of little spot so we're doing double garden one on this side one on this side this one if you notice is a little lower this one is a little higher and then we can maybe even put a little stair to get down on that side to go around that kind of I, I like that i like that um so that's another little feature uh we can do uh this one i'm, I'm gonna leave these with the um the, the trap doors maybe i can just switch it around uh but let's see maybe flip let's change some of these out so we could do some texturing 
and we're done with this one and i'm sorry if this video is kind of long i'm trying to see if we can get it all done in one video uh so hopefully you guys are enjoying this thing uh so let's texture some of this as well because i noticed some of this is only stone i'm gonna take this all the way up though let's take these all the way up i'm gonna get rid of the trapdoor if that's okay and then come back in here and give it that same look that same look so this is a little higher this is a little lower and we can add even a couple more kind of slabs and stuff to this area just to give it a little more roundness to it uh something like maybe a where's the stair at i need a stair give me a stair there's no stairs here oh there it is uh maybe a little stair action maybe one this way that looks good okay uh maybe extending it just a tad more might just give it a little bit more of what we need just to have a little more walkway here and then oh we were gonna put a balcony weren't we over here on this side uh, but I'm thinking since we have one here let's see we can definitely do another little bit on this uh, let's actually extend this just a tad more and I think that's pretty good let's maybe switch some of these out as well there we go okay now, I think that's fine. Maybe add a little stair here. And how about some slab going around like so. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit of a walkway. And I think that's fine. Right here, I think I might just, instead of doing a balcony, I might add like a, like make this into like a flower box. Like a legit, like this is going to be a flower box section. Um, and maybe adding just a tad more extension here and that's always good you start out with a with a template and you move it up you change it you, you adapt to it and this is how we just did uh, so maybe a little flower box right there a uh, little trap door I feel bad whoever tries to come out here they might fall and maybe add a couple little bits of flowers and stuff maybe some of that uh, let's get rid of some of the hello inventory what's wrong with you oh, let's do that that and maybe one of these and let's drop a couple flowers bam bam and bam okay little flower box action uh back here you know what we could do uh this could be the the, the actual like a farm like if you're using this as a starter house or something like that and you want to do a farm how about we do this uh let's make a little fence here let's fence this out uh let's do a little fence action and then we're going to bring in the oak again uh and maybe fence right here just this part right about how about right here put a little gate on one end and the other it's gonna be the smallest farm ever but it's cool to ha at least have one and you can have a little farm right there um yeah that's kind of cool and then let's get a hoe and we're gonna get a golden hoe and hoe this up right here little the, the smallest patch ever and you can make this expandable again you can do it on your own you can actually go crazy go big uh but i'm just gonna put the tiniest thing here uh also i'm gonna add a little water uh let's see you can actually add the water um down in here and then put a tilled soil in there that looks pretty cool uh we could even if you want we can even close this off and go all the way around like so if you do that you add more uh, farming area but then you just have to extend this just by a tad bit more and that is not going to be a problem so you can do something like that maybe even change some of these out right there that's fine uh and see you have a little more uh, to work with so it all depends how you want to do it how you want to work it uh and then down here uh maybe stretch that Nah, i will you know i'll just put uh just put a stone piece okay that's fine and then you have all this to hoe put some seeds and you're good to go uh, so you have a little farm in the back uh, and then you have a little bit more to work with right there uh, you can even maybe even take this one out and put maybe a little chest over here so you can keep all your seeds and all all your supply and that'll be a good spot for that and you have a way in and that should be the only way in unique because then you can come all the way around here and you have this little spot uh, this is a little dangerous but I don't know I kind of like I like it a little dangerous here uh, but you could maybe lift it uh, a little more and just maybe play around and do something like this just a little bit more support here uh and if you want you could even come all the way around and give it a little border on this thing so you don't feel that unsafe uh so you could do something like that if you want um let me see slab and mix and match maybe some of the slabs here uh so if you want to feel a little more safer uh you could do something like this on this section and maybe switch some of these up too uh there we go maybe another bit on here maybe get rid of that guy i don't know i'm just retexturing everything now for here we could do a little bit of podzol 
and a little bit of coarse dirt and let's do maybe a little bit there and a little bit of course right about there that's fine and then here is where i would probably mix in some tall flowers we can mix in a little bit of bush some large ferns stuff like that uh maybe a little bit of regular bush where's my regular bush maybe there some oak leaves and then i would just maybe put the taller ones on the side maybe something like this maybe a uh, one of those fern tall grass maybe another flower in here oh, wait hold on let's maybe put a flower here maybe a fern back there there we go another fern something like that a little rose bush flower patch kind of thing there we go that looks awesome so something like that uh, over here if you want to mess around also do a little bit of path block put a little bit of coarse dirt uh put a little puzzle let's see let's get uh can we get path just like this i don't think so yeah we can actually that's cool thought i had to get a uh, one of those spoons out uh so there we go and this kind of goes all the way around like so uh, if you want to make this a little safer as well, you can actually do something uh, like a so. Um, like see, bam. Maybe take that out. A little more path block. A little more of that. Uh, I don't know. I kind of think we might need a little more space to walk here. Maybe something like that. There we go. There we go. And that looks great right here. I don't want to put a full block here because then that fence will connect. I don't want it to connect. Uh, so that looks really, really cool. So there you go. Now, uh, little tiny bits of detail uh, that you could add. Maybe add some grass blocks uh, and some ferns and stuff. And you can add that to this little area. Little fern right there, maybe. Uh, maybe a little one right Something like that, just mix it up. Maybe put a little bit more life into this path, even though it's just uh, dirt. So we have that going. Uh, door here, for sure. Uh, I'm definitely gonna put a oh, sore, no, door. Uh, for here, we're gonna just put a regular old spruce door, but that's pretty much it. That is all that I could do to make this sexy. I can even, if you want, we well, you know, it can never end. Uh, but I can go ahead and put a little, maybe a little bit of gravel here too. Just a little bit of gravel. Uh, especially on these paths right here. That looks really, really cool. But yeah, <laughs> there it is. Let's take a quick little spin. There's our little fantasy sky island with a little fantasy house on top. Oh, the gravel fell all the way down. It looks really, really cool. We can even add a bunch more stuff. Just use your imagination. Hopefully this serves a little bit of inspiration for you guys if you want to go crazy with your builds and just add and add and add. Uh, maybe you can even put some bush hanging out on top. Maybe add a little airship in the front here. Uh, you know, the, the the inspiration never ends. You guys can go crazy on this thing, but that's fine. Uh, you can even add, oh, I forgot those. Those would be pretty cool, right? Add a little... See, see I'm, if, I, if I stick around, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep adding. Uh, but I got really, really got inspired with this one. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this. Uh, I got a lot of other builds coming up that I'm just inspired to keep building. But let me know if there's any other builds, any other styles, any other anything else that you want me to try to build. And I might consider it maybe for one of these upcoming episodes. I'm thinking about doing airships. I'm thinking about going crazy, doing it for different styles. But you know what? I'm out of here for now. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode of Building with Salsa. See you guys later. Goodbye. Thank you.